We all spend tons of our day on our screens. Looking at my screen time counter on my phone is an embarrassment. So if you're like me, you're probably at the end of the day thinking about how to reduce eye strain and just help your eyes feel better. And you probably have looked at blue light glasses and other options to help with that. Let's see if that's really the right choice. So blue light glasses have become quite popular for the gaming community and for people at large who are just looking for ways to reduce eye strain and eye fatigue. And as we focus on our tasks, 24 seven. We really don't unplug the way we used to. We're not spending as much time outdoors. A lot of our world is within this three foot radius of our hands and our computer screens. So blue light glasses work on the principle of blocking the blue light spectrum, which is the shorter wavelength spectrum, on the principle that that is the light that tends to kind of refract and, and diffract the most based on your optics within the eye. And there's been some evidence that has shown that blue light exposure over time has maybe created some issues with cataract development and retinal health in a variety of some anecdotal studies. It turns out though that if you look at the eye health overall and blue light exposure, looking at the data a little bit more closely, I am not convinced that blue light glasses specifically really do much in terms of the eye health overall, and I don't think that they're really that helpful for most patients. With that said though, there are some patients that use these glasses and swear by them and say, hey, this really has helped me, and if that's the case, it's not going to hurt you, they're just a little bit more expensive than your typical reading glasses, for example, or even your typical prescription glasses. So if that's something within your budget, it's not going to harm you, but it might not be worth spending that extra money. 